Thank you. Thank you so much. So I, I'm very, very humbled by this honor, and, and I could name dozens of my colleagues who could be up here tonight speaking with you instead of me. Um, my entire career has been all about collaboration, so it feels strange to accept an award as an individual. In schools, there are so many different relationships and stakeholders that, that make a school work. And so before anything else, I want to share this recognition with anybody who has ever held a stake in our school. The teachers who work way past dark many nights a week, our parent community who doesn't blink when we tell them that we want to take the entire ninth grade on a trip to Summit Bear Mountain, uh, any New York City Outward Bound Schools instructor who's ever made a s'more with one of our sixth graders upstate in Fishkill, uh, anyone who's ever served as an expert or a panelist uh, for a student presentation, a passages presentation, a student-led conference, anyone who's ever donated to one of our Kickstarter campaigns, anyone who's ever rooted out an invasive species with us or chaperoned us on fieldwork or attended a student-led conference or anybody who's ever told a Mel student, there's more in you than you think. Uh, So at this point, it's really hard to tell my story without telling the story of our school because we're pretty inseparable. Uh, I started my career at MELS, which we call the Metropolitan Expeditionary Learning School for short. As a founding teacher five years, thank you, thank you. Uh, and I started there as a founding teacher five years ago. Uh, we all had a dream to create a true public school where rich student experiences and character growth spoke louder than textbooks or test scores. We wanted to help cultivate a learning community that was as vibrant and diverse as the neighborhoods that we served. And in that first year of MELS, we didn't have much in the way of materials. I'll always remember sitting in a circle with my seventh grade social studies class on that very first day of school, the first day we were open. And our classroom was a blank canvas. And I was introducing our core values through a little game of Pictionary. Again, we didn't have much. But collectively, we had a vision to build a school that was a little more hands-on, a little more progressive, one that valued student voice and choice, and a community in which every single student is known well. Next year, MELS will graduate its first class, the class of 2016. And I know that they're destined for great things. Um, they, were my little intimidated seventh graders from that first day of school. And uh, they've evolved into erudite and wise and talented people who are going to make a huge impact on this world. I really wouldn't have lasted uh, since that first day of school without the support of my students and colleagues who continue to inspire me every day, including today. The leadership of Pat Finley and Damon McCord, who are two of the best guys I know. And. And my mom and dad, uh, both lifelong educators, who, when I told them I wanted to be a teacher, uh, might have cried out of joy or shared empathy. I, <laughs> I couldn't really tell. But who taught me everything I know about relational trust and investing in individuals. So this award really does belong to the entire crew and, and not just this one passenger. So thank you. And in case this whole teaching thing doesn't work out for me, I'm moonlighting as an auctioneer. So I'd like to remind you all, <laughs> in a complete 180, that uh, the silent auction closes at 8.45, which is soon. So watch your phone for text updates, and please uh, contribute, and thank you again. <laughs>